Hey, welcome to Wrenching with Rocky. Today I'm going to be cleaning the chain on this Yamaha R3. Now to do this job, some things you want to make sure you have are a good chain cleaner, a grunge brush, chain lube, some shop towels, and it helps to have a stand like this pit bull or similar, but you can clean the chain just by rolling the bike to get to each area of the chain. First, I'll take my chain cleaner and spray all along the chain while rolling the back wheel to move the chain around. I like to use Muck Off because it's a good brand, it has great reviews, does a good job, and it smells good. Now you don't have to remove this chain guard, but I want to do a thorough job, so I'm going to take it off. For me, it's just two Allen bolts. Now I'm going to place my grunge brush over the chain and move the back wheel again, moving the chain through the bristles of the brush. There is no right or wrong way, as long as you can get the bristles around the chain and be able to move the chain. The other side of the grunge brush is to clean the sprocket and the other other and any other area that you can get to. Now that I'm done cleaning the chain, I need to rinse off the cleaner. So I'll take it over to the water hose and spray it down.
after you rinse off the chain, you need to dry it. You can either ride the bike or you can use an air compressor or just let it dry overnight before you lube it again. It's a nice day. I'm going to ride. All right, the chain is dry. Now it's time to lube. I've got it back on the stand. Again, I use Muck Off because it has good reviews, does a great job, and smells nice. When you lube the chain, you wanna make sure not to overspray. You do not want lube getting on your brake rotor. Muck Off sprays in a nice, straight stream. Make sure you do a full rotation without overdoing it. You don't want your lubrication to be flinging all over the place, especially over to your brake rotor. Now look how that chain shines. Now all that's left to do is to put back on my chain guard, pick up my tools, and I'm done. My bike will be well maintained and ready for my next ride. And I'll know that I've done what I can to make sure that I have a safe ride.